Uh, my name is Jared Meyer, and I'm, uh, I work here in the Business Development Office here in our Denver uh, office as well. Uh, we have a very special event for you today with Charles Boyle and Gary Donahue of Viper Trading Systems. I just want to mention that it is important to understand that there are substantial risks in trading commodities, futures, contracts, and Forex. You should carefully consider whether such trading is suitable for you, and that will depend on your specific circumstances and financial resources. It is possible to lose all the funds deposited with your broker, and you could even incur losses beyond these amounts. Please inquire at uh, nintradeecosystem.com forward slash risk hyphen disclosure for more information or for a copy of the CFTC uh, full risk disclosure. Also, please do remember that these training webinars are not a solicitation or recommendation, but simply educational in nature. All right. Uh, some additional housekeeping information. This presentation is presented by Ninja LLC, which is the technology company responsible for developing and supporting the Ninja trading software. Any brokerage related questions should be directed to Ninja Brokerage directly at 312 262 1289 or by emailing brokerage sales at ninjatrader.com. We are very excited for this unique event in which Charles and Gary of Viper Trading Systems will show how it is possible to see beyond the rightmost bar of any chart and predict where the next trade could occur. Thanks again for your attendance today. Without further ado, it's my pleasure to welcome to the uh, webinar room, Charles and Gary. Please take it away, gentlemen. Thanks, Jared. Hello, everybody. Good evening, good afternoon, morning, depending on where you're at in the world. Um, just a quick introduction. Uh, my name is Charles Boyle. I'm a co-founder and partner of Viper Trading Systems. And I'm accompanied today by my business partner, Gary Donahue. You there, Gary? I am here. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for coming today. Howdy ho. It's hard to believe, but uh, I believe it's sometime early next year will be 10 years we've been working with uh, exclusively with Viper, I mean with, uh, with NinjaTrader as a, a vendor. And we're pretty happy and proud of that. Uh, we're exclusively on the Ninja platform. Uh, we recently ported our uh, indicators over to Ninja Trader 8, and so we're going to be so, uh, showing some charts in just a minute here. If you want to learn more about uh, who we are, uh, simply go to our, our site there. You see the address, vipertradingsystems.com, and you can learn a little bit more about us and who we are. Uh, testing audio, am I okay coming through? Okay. Well, before we move on, let me uh, uh, do a pop question to the team here today. Quick show of hands. How many of you currently trade futures markets? And if you do, just take a second and type in which markets you like to trade. So question for the team here today, real quick. Do you trade futures? And if you do, what do you trade? Just go ahead and type that in real quick, and then we'll get on with the rest of the presentation here. Okay, we got some ES traders, uh, Russell, YM, crude oil. See some people are daring enough to take on the spazzy NASI, which we call NASDAQ NQ. Well, that's been a woolly beast lately. We get some uh, currency traders, good. All right, excellent, most excellent. So a lot of futures traders, a lot of ES traders. Okay, you're going to like what you're about to see here. So let's move on. Um, before we proceed, we've got to go ahead and get our standard uh, disclaimer out of the way. Let's go ahead and knock that out so we can move on. All communications from Viper Trading Systems are for educational purposes only. Futures trading does involve risk, and there is a risk of loss. Nothing contained in this webinar other webinars, including the live trading room, are to be construed as investment or trading advice. And of course, everybody in here does know that you do trade at your own sole discretion. All right, one, one other thing we want to show you real quick here. Um, there's our contact information. Uh, go to the website forward slash contact if you need to get a hold of us. And then everybody in here that attended this webinar will get uh, two things from us. You get a free trial by clicking on this link right here, vipertradingsystems.com forward slash home dash two, home dash two. Now, when that page pops up, um, you're going to put in your uh, email address. That's all it takes. And uh, what will be cool is that you'll get uh, use of all the indicators we're going to show. You get invited to all the live rooms and web webinars for next week. And you get a free indicator that you get to keep. So it's pretty cool. If you can, go ahead, uh, before we move on, click on that link and go ahead and knock that out real quick. And then uh, uh, if you can. Everybody see it? Vibratoringsystem.com forward slash home dash two. Okay, cool. 
I don't see any other questions on that. NT8, yes, let's get over to an ES chart right now. Excellent, most excellent. All right, so before we start to get into what you're, you're actually looking at here, um, let me uh, back up for a second. So uh, most of you know, of course, uh, we, we exclusively trade uh, futures on the Ninja platform. This is NT8. This is a chart, an ES chart. And uh, uh, Ninja, as you know, is the platform itself. And just like apps on your phone, we write software that runs on top of the NT8 uh, uh, platform. And so what you see, if you notice here, is background colors. These are our indicators that you're seeing on the chart. Uh, power meters, which are the, uh, the fancy word for a trend direction. Predictors, which is real-time support and resistance. I You can toggle those on and off. They look like this. They're kind of little oval swings that paint in real time. These are really handy if you're uh, for two reasons. If you're in a range, they tend to go sideways. And when you're in an uptrend, for instance, like over here, you can see that they follow the stair stepping up like such. Now the other prominent things on here, of course, are the bar colors. We have blue, yellow, and red. And then the other most prominent thing, of course, you're going to notice is these bands. And let me explain what they are real quick. The mid, so we have one, two, three, four bands below the mid band, which is this thick line right here. It's called the mid band, the middle band. And it features prominently in our trading. And then you have band five, six, seven, eight. And part of the reason we added these bands to the background colors and bar colors and other parts of what we do is it gives a structure and a framework on how to see and where to take trades. And this is part of the training that we do um, three times a week. We have live webinars where we teach how to interpret what's going on here. But let me show you in a nutshell just kind of how this works and how pretty simple it is. Now, when you're in an uptrend, as you were here, and this is, let me orient you. This is going into, I'm here in California. And um, this would have been midnight Pacific going into Halloween which was the 31st, that was yesterday. I'm using this as an example to show what was going on here. So in the overnight, which is the Asian session here, going into what is the beginning of the European session to the right, you can see that the E-mini S&P futures were in an uptrend. Okay? Yeah, yes, it is being recorded, James K., and I think everybody will get a copy uh, when it's, when it's uh, rendered. And let me just show you what happens in... Um, when you have an uptrend. So in the case of an uptrend, the thrust part of moves is in the up direction. And when you get a good powerful thrust, as you can see right here, this would have been overnight in the Asian session, that the background turns green. And then notice how the bands and the mid band all start to stair step up and the bars are turn predominantly blue. This is all the uh, breadcrumb clues that are telling you that you're in an uptrend. Now, where we find that most traders make a, a, a fatal mistake, and that might be some of you in here, and there's nothing wrong with that, it's all part of the learning process, is there's a tendency to buy markets in the thrust part of the move when the market is moving up. Let me use an example here. Let's come back over here like this. This might be describing some of you. That's okay. What happens is this. Here's the psychology of it. And when I start to explain it, you're gonna, some of you are going to raise your hand and say, that's me. So what happens is the market starts coming up, and it's moving up, and it's moving up, and it's moving up. And when it gets way up here, well, darn it, you're convinced that it's going to the moon, and you're going to make a ton of dough because this thing's going to run another 100 ticks or whatever. And so what do you do? You pull the trigger all the way up here, and you jump in assured of yourself that it's going to keep going, right? Well, lo and behold, what does it do? It goes a little bit higher and then it starts to pull all the way back into the support level. So what we call this is, and this is, we work extensively on trying to correct this problem, and some of you might be dealing with it right now, is you're, you're getting in at the end or the apex of the thrust of the move in the trend direction, which is up. And what we teach and we show in the live room and actually 
you know, take most of these trades, is that you have to patiently wait for a pullback. Oops, wrong one. You have to wait for the market to retrace. It has to pull back in, in the case of an uptrend into a support level to give you a bounce to actually take the trade long. Let me put another arrow here. So here's the retracement. So what's happening for the trader that bought the thrust, part of the move up here, can everybody see this? The traders that are trapped up here have their stops down here, and they're actually getting stopped out at the time that the trade entry itself sets up, which is right here, right around the mid-band. Notice what happens here. It takes off again. So just as the trader who's getting stopped out is getting out of the trade, the actual trade itself sets up on the retracement just under the mid-band, which turns out to be the next leg up. Can everybody um, see my cursor moving? Anybody not see my cursor? Everybody see the arrows and lines and circles and everything? Is this all coming through? Does that look good? You can see what I'm doing? Cursor moving around? Getting confirmation here? Yes? Looks good? All right, cool. Now, one thing that we're going to do is, uh, and uh, I'm going to show it this way. This is probably the best way to show it because you notice I've drawn several boxes on where these trades are setting up. And so we have three places for trade entry, and this is probably one of the most simplest trading things you're going to see, but we like simple because it's a lot easier. We have a minimum criteria of retracement in a long trend that has to come in and close below this sort of sneaky snake line. It's called stealth. It's an indicator we've had for like nine years. Okay? Notice how it follows the price up. In the case of an uptrend, it's green. And then... And then we have what's called line 6, which is the thin green line that sits on top of band 6. You see the thin green line here? Now, in order to get into a trade, a minimum retracement is closed below stealth and below line 6 and close into this box right here. This is the minimum criteria to take a, a, a long trade in the case of an uptrend. Now, oftentimes you will see the market retrace at or around the mid-band, and it would look something like this in this area right here. Sometimes the borrowers will rest right on the mid-band as they did in this box right here. Sometimes they'll sit just under the mid-band as they did in this box right here. This is called a mid-band trade. And we teach this quite extensively and it's really very quick and easy to pick up. Now occasionally what will happen is in an uptrend you'll get what's called a little bit deeper retracement and the market will come down and rest in this box right here. Notice that happened over here when the market pulled down into just above line 2. This is line 2 that sits above band 2. And then she takes off again with the thrusting move. So all three locations are legitimate long trades and retracements. The converse is true in a downtrend. Let me t pause for a second see if there's any questions on that. Any questions on that? Pretty straightforward, huh? Okay, good. All right, let's go over and take a look at a downtrend, and let's look at the examples of how you get what we call kiss and rolls off resistance. And that occurred right over here. See the market flipped. Let me show a couple of quick examples of, uh, of uh, uh, downtrend kisses of resistance. I got a couple of examples right there, and then we got some more over here. All right. In this case here, we came out of a sideways range-bound condition, which if you trade ES, you know this is, happens a lot. It kind of acts like a little coiled spring where it just kind of sits there in a little range for a while trying to decide what it's going to do. It's not going up. It's not going down. It's just going sideways. And here we can clearly see that the resolution of the market for ES in this particular time frame was, was down. Right here. Here's your thrust. Now let me ask you a question. Based on what you've seen and heard in the past 15 minutes, I want to ask everybody in here a question. Make sure everybody's still awake. You had your espresso, your coffee, your tea, and you're ready for some trades. Based on the criteria that we just, we just uh, outlined for trade entry using the system, with the bands, the colors, and what have you, the bars, is this a legitimate short trade, yes or no? Just tell you, All you got to do is type in a Y or an N based on what you know right now. Based on our system and what we showed so far, is this box a legitimate short trade entry, 
yes or no? Based on what you know. And granted, it hasn't been much. 15 minutes is pretty tough to learn a trading system in 15 minutes, but this is how straightforward it is. Yes, right. Yeah, the answer is yes. Meets the minimum criteria, right? So in a short trade, it's got to close above stealth and above line two and come into this band right here, which it did. So by definition, this meets the minimum criteria for a short trade entry. Now here again, you can see right here is another short trade entry. A couple of more right here. And then here is one on the short side that meets the criteria for a mid-band kiss and roll short over in here. See how we come into the band just underneath the mid-band? Total legitimate short. It was a powerful, nice downtrend, just kept dropping until we get a trend change and she starts heading back up. So, you know, uh, visually this helps a lot. We find that the colors uh, really help see the trade and the, the mid-band and the bands really give the framework and structure to take it. And uh, we've had a lot of traders that have been with us all the way since the beginning, nine years ago. It's amazing. Uh, and it's really a testament to our longevity and teaching. A lot of them come in the live room. We have a live room every morning that starts at just before the crude pit open at 5.55 a.m. Pacific time. Crude pit, as you know, opens at 6. Gary opens up the room. They look at the early moves in the oil market and gold in the other markets. We have two equities in there, too. We have ES and YM, the mini Dow. Uh, I come in there just before the open at 6.30, the equity markets, and then we keep the live room open until 8 a.m. Pacific. So you get about, well, right around two hours. And we find that most of the moves are actually you know, done by, uh, you know, uh, 7, 7.30. Sometimes there's news at 7, and it'll push the market around, and we use this criteria. So when you come in the room, if you sign up for the free trial, and we'll show that link again in a second, you'll get invitations to the room so you get to see these charts in live action with real-time data. It's pretty cool. So with that, I don't see, uh, do you have a link for the end? Uh, yeah, let me put the link back up. I see there's some folks have come in a little bit late. That's cool. Let me go back to the slides. Let's see if I can do that. Let's see if I have that here. Let me go back to the slides. Start slides. Screen sharing. Trying to get back to the slides. Does everybody see free you're, you're trial now? Slides, Charles. What's that? Yeah, you're on the slides. Perfect slide. I see it. Uh, just to let everybody know, real quick, too, that that uh, link that you see there, that home dash two, that's a special link for for these people in this webinar only, and the ones that will see the recording of it. Now, that's to get the free indicator in Ninja Eight, and it's also to get a free trial with us. You'll get everything that you've seen there with Charles. And then some, I'll show you here in just a few minutes, some extras that you'll get also. Yeah, and, and just as it says right here, you get the free trial, so you get all the invitations. Um, in fact, what we'll do is we have a webinar tonight at 5 o'clock Pacific. Once you go in to, the, to click on the link, put your email in there, you'll actually get an invitation tonight. So you'll be able to see uh, the training that we do on, uh, on these charts. And uh, so, yeah, and then you get your free indicator. That's sent to you. You have to keep that for yourself. Well, that's about what I had to show there, Gary. Are you ready to share some stuff over there? I am ready. Just leave it on the slides, and I'll get it right over here. All righty. All right, should be able to see my screen. Now, what I brought this up uh, on first is so that uh, we can let everybody know we've got some really great training, and we don't charge you a dime for it. You don't have to be a member with us. You just simply go to vipertradingsystems.com, and then just go to our webinar link. Now, the last uh, webinar that was uh, taught with Viper Trading Systems was Monday night. There is a webinar tonight, and Charles is going to give a special link for people here today that can also come to that. But these webinars are a little over an hour long, and they, they're teaching webinars. They're training on our products. Uh, this is uh, out of kilter on dates, unfortunately. I, I had to upload these really quickly to get these in here. But this is actually the Monday night webinar. Uh, this one was uh, on 10-29-18, which was just Monday night. Uh, now, when a person's a member with us, 
we've got even some uh, other training, for instance, I'll show you here. Let's go to our home page first. Let me, let me show you this one here. This is that home to page that you're seeing the link for that we keep popping into the little question box. And the reason we're doing that is because this is for that Viper free trial and that free indicator. So all you'll need to do is put in a legitimate name and email and you'll have to confirm with this when you submit it because it has to be a legitimate email address for us to ever send you the indicator, right? And also the trial links and things like that. So just, uh, you know, put your name and your email in and click submit and you'll be on a special list for this Ninja webinar to receive the free indicator that you can keep forever. And uh, it, it, it'll, it'll be licensed through Viper, but it'll be licensed uh, eternally, so to speak. Okay, I apologize if there's any audio uh, problem. I see somebody's having audio intermittent. Uh, let me go to, real quick, to our member login. I want to show you with, uh, with, with our, uh, basically, when you, when you sign up with, with Viper, for instance, if you're with us as a member, you can actually come in uh, and even basically have all the training that we have. We, we've got a lot of training that's available. So let me uh, see if I've got, uh, real quick, that must have timed out. Let me see if I can get back in it just real quick and see if I got my right password here. If not, we'll have to go in another way. There we go. All right, we have uh, passwords to get in this part of it. Now, when you get into the member area, it basically will, will get you in and it'll say, welcome your name. We have the links for our room each and every day that we trade. We have our webinar links so that you can come into all of our webinars that we have. We have three webinars every week to teach people how to see these trades and how to trade these trades. We have some training manuals that we put in PDF format. If you ever lose your scripts, we've even got scripts for people. But right down here is the meat of it, and this is our training right here. This is uh, an ebook that we wrote. This is uh, some videos on how to use Object Trader, which I'm going to show here in just a moment. And these are some other training videos here, and our webinars are always posted also. Also, if you're ever... And on our contact link, you don't have to worry about, you know, getting an email that's 48 hours later or anything like that. You're going to have a contact page, and you're going to be able to absolutely get in touch with us. Uh, we've got a phone number that you can get, get a hold of us. Matter of fact, it's over here. We won't even go to the contact page. Uh, Viper Trading Systems, email, phone, Skype, and even Team Viewer Support. So we are available to help you as a trader, okay? And even to get our system set up or whatever is necessary. Okay, now Francisco, if you click on that trial link and it just goes back to the web page, you've more than likely got a pop-up blocker. Okay, if you've got a pop-up blocker, just send an email to Viper Licensing at ViperTradingSystems.com. We'll manually put you in uh, and you'll still get the indicator in the free trial, okay? But a pop-up blocker will pop, you know, unfortunately stop that. Okay, so that's more than likely what you have. All right, let me go ahead and go out of this. And what I'm going to show is I'm going to show a little chart here. Now, these are indicators that we've got in Viper Trading Systems. Real quickly, just by what Charles showed a little while ago, anybody that's been trading, what's the trend right here? I mean, you can almost tell with me moving the arrow up that it's an uptrend, right? So we've got these little power meters that will actually tell you that it's an up move. We'll have indicators over here that tell you that we're in retracement right now. And that's where we want those sweet spots for those trades. Now, we've got a tool in Viper Trading Systems called the Object Trader. Let me just go ahead and bring this over here just a little bit further. All right, now Object Trader is a tool that we designed, and this is only in Ninja 7 at this time. Now, we are working on it in Ninja 8, and it will be finished in Ninja 8 within the next uh, about 45 days, okay? But Object Trader has the ability to box, like Charles was talking about. You just simply put it on Region. You click the Insert button. You don't activate anything until you see the box actually form the way you want it. You draw your lines on your charts. You know, you see where support is, resistance is, things like that. And you can clearly put your little box accordingly. We, ha we have one we call the Phantom Trade, which is about an 85 
percent uh, type of a trade setup, and you can test it out yourself in, uh, you know, in sim mode and see that this little trade uh, works pretty well. All right, and so what what you do is you just simply tell the box what you want it to do and how many contracts you want or whatever. And then when it gets to this uh, trade right here, this the way I set this right now, this has to get within two ticks of the bottom of this box, and it'll automatically fire that trade. Okay? Now, this is that trade that Charles was showing earlier, you know, just, just to show you how this actually works here. And I'm going to go ahead and put it where we're not going to take it out of the top. We want the retrace. We're not breakout traders. Okay, we want that retrace, or we'll wait for another retrace. All right, let's go ahead and let this play for just a moment. Now, this is just to show you, you know, what could happen if you use the tools and use them properly, and we're going to teach you to use them properly. Okay, and let's just let this trade go ahead and play out. A lot of people get up at about, oh, 4 o'clock in the morning central time, 5 o'clock. It's a good time of the, the night to trade, actually. You see, we're not at the bottom of our box yet. Notice here, we're getting really close to the bottom of that box. Now, see how that fired that trade within two ticks of the bottom of that box? We've got the ability to move our targets wherever we want them. We can even add to the trade if we want to by simply resizing our box and even going again. Let's say we want to go outside the top of the box this time and maybe add one. And we can actually even do that. Or we can even add when it does a trend line break or anything, just showing you how these tools can work. They're very powerful tools. And they're all coded to where they, they can work in real time on the fly, which means that anything that I want to do to this, I can actually do by simply adding to my trade or anything that I want to do, okay? Notice how my box fired another contract right there, okay? And of course, you can move the target in real time. You can move your stops in real time. And we've even got trail stops that are automatic with Viper. Let me show you how that works. I'll just get this out of the way and show you a little tool that we have in here. This is our trail stop. And see how this mid-band is moving right here? Now it's moving up. I can actually tag that as my trail stop by simply turning this on to line four. That's line four right there. And engage my trail. And there's my trail. I can even set it to where it has to close below, which means that it can't just wick the trade. It has to actually close below that line. This is your real stop at your broker. This is a stop put out by object trader that has to actually close below it for a long or above it for a short. Okay? And not anybody that I know of has a feature like that because exit on close can be powerful. Have you ever been wicked out of a trade? Well, if you've ever been wicked out of a trade, and if you've been trading a while, all of us have been wicked out of a trade, okay? And this makes it to where unless it closes below that line, it will not fire an order with your broker, okay? And that would simply stop me out if I did that. You've even got features like reverse on here. I've got features, let's say you weren't even in a trade at all. Let me show you another little trade. See this meter right here? That's power meter one, which is uh, in red right now, so it's in retrace. I can even fire a trade based on this little jewel. Like that, if that turns green, this will actually fire a trade for me. Notice that I close that out. And we'll see if we get a green at all in this. Should get a green if it goes above that little bar right there. See if it does. Or it'll stair step down and we'll get a green at some point and just watch it. You'll see it as it turns green, this will fire. That should there, right there, see it? That's power meter. And this little meter right here simply reads these little, what we call the lightning, up and down on here. Okay? I could even add on here if I wanted to by simply saying, you know what? My power meter 2 has not fired yet, so I can go with power meter 2 and add one. If this goes green, I could add one. Just showing you how you can really use these tools. And we've got videos that will walk you through every single feature on Object Trader. I actually personally did 68 videos, about seven minutes a piece, that will walk you through every trade that I'm showing you here, and then some, obviously. Okay? 
on the fly type of moves. You can simply move your targets out of the way. You can move your stop. I can even choose this stop if I want. See this, this is called lightning here. I can actually say, you know what? I want to use lightning. Now let's use lightning one. And then we'll, we'll do our little space bar so we can see where lightning one is. See where lightning one is? And then I just simply engage my trail on the fly. And watch it. If this moves up, this will move up with it. This is lightning one. And if I get stopped out, I get stopped out because this is lightning one. That's where my stop's at. What if I wanted line six? I can even tell it I want line six. We call this trade out all the time on line six to sh shut a trade out. And if it happens to close below that, we could simply be out of the trade. This easy. See where my stop is right there? I've chosen line six because you can see that it's actually hovering around line six. I can even offset it in real time if I want to. Bring my trail down a little bit. We, we built a really cool tool here. And by the way, this is going to be available in Ninja 8 with some even automatic features on it, okay, which I think you'll really like. Um, so far, we've got trades such as region, which is simply a box. And by the way, you can take the region long at the bottom, long at the top, short at the top, short out the bottom, short at the top, long at the bottom. Any combination of trade that you want, you can take. Okay, And have you ever seen it where it consolidates for like two hours at a time? Just draw a big old box and short the top and buy the bottom, short the top and buy the bottom. You can do that with Object Trader's region tool here. Uh, we've got a tool called the Wedge Trader. Wedge is simply, you put it on Wedge, you use Ninja Trader's Ray tool, turn it on, touch, or whatever you want it to be, and you can even manipulate this on the fly in real time. For instance, when it makes two in, uh, swing points like that, you could do this like this, for instance. Okay, see how my trend line now? Just let me bear like that and like that. So I can move this in real time. And this will actually get me that trade the moment that it touches that trend line plus one tick. And you should be able to see it actually fired. And there it is. Okay. That's using Ninja Traders Ray tool and getting the trade. And we've also got another tool on here called the Sniper. Sniper is a horizontal line. Let's say that I wanted to add on this trade like right here. And I say, you know what? I want a sniper. Turn it on. Now, this is my upper sniper. This is my lower one right now. Obviously, we're not going to use that one. And if this goes above this line right here by a touch plus whatever, one or zero, then this will automatically add one contract for me. That's using the NinjaTrader horizontal line tool. I can even move it in real time, reset it, move it in real time, Reset it. Anything I want to do, I can do right there like that on the fly. And like I said, on the fly is critical to trading properly. You can scale in. You can scale out. You can reverse a trade. You can fire market orders. Our new Ninja 8 will even do limit orders and your, your stops, uh, stop orders. See how that just added a contract right there? Okay. That's, that's simply by you know, being above my mid band, and that's fairly aggressive, but what if I wanted to add another one? I just simply hit my sniper and turn it on, turn on my long enabled, and it'll do its thing. Now, notice this little box that printed right here? This is called a time box. We actually, in our trading room, we call trades based on this time box. We box in, and we have a tool on Object Trader called the Time Trader. And it'll actually take that trade automatically by you just simply saying, I want time trader. And let's just close this out and I'll show you. I've got a little bit more time. Show you here some features. We'll turn this off for right now. And then we're going to go in here. This is called time trader right here. If I wanted this set for this morning at 7.59 my time, which is Chicago time, and I want my box to be like eight ticks for my box four times two, which is middle of the bar. I'll teach you all that. Uh, I can just simply set this 
the way I want it. And then it'll automatically draw that box that we talked about and actually take that trade for you. Now these are all, of course, hypothetical type trades that, and you can play with this things to your heart content too. You can trade any type of trade on here that you want. Uh, if I wanted to even, you know, uh, buy a contract based on a bar close. Now we wouldn't do it here because we've already had a retrace, but I'll show you how it works. Bar close, long, if that bar closes up, it'll fire one contract. See there? That's, that's called bar close. All right? What if I wanted to get out if it closed one down? I can scale out even. What, what if, for instance, hypothetically, let's say that this is still going up right now, right? But what if it goes down one bar and I just want it out? There you are. You're flat. Some powerful tools here. And, and we, we owe all of that to Ninja and their great platform and our great coder that we've had for many, many years, probably one of the best in the business. And uh, Object Trader was designed uh, about four years ago, and it has had many, many improvements to it over the years, and it's quite a tool. We've designed it to where you can trade about any way that you want to trade. Trail stops automatically. Set your targets, exits on close, reverse. You can even reverse at a target if you want to. Have you seen some of those where you just know it's going to double top, you know, at a real heavy swing? Then reverse it right there at that target. Or put a sniper there, and if it blows through it, it'll never reverse because it's designed to where it has to actually hit it and tick back on sniper, and therefore you wouldn't even, you know, just uh, reverse it at like a target. Now, keep in mind, I'm trying to show you several things that this will do, but uh, basically what we teach all the time is this trade right here, just a region trade. You box it in, you take the trade. You tell it how you want to trade it. In our room, we, we may say uh, we're going biased to the upside only. That would be boxing in here with long only on. If it was at the opening of the market and we saw that we could get down to a, uh, like a support level, we might say box it, no bias. That would mean turn them both on. And uh, you'll find real quickly that you can utilize these tools in real time on your chart. And by the way, Object Trader can be put on any chart at any time. We even have features built into it where you can even have uh, a drawdown. Let's say that you got to hypothetically $1,390, and you wanted to hold all but 10% of that, maybe you could get up to $1,700, but you decided that, hey, if it even draws down 10%, I want out. It'll automatically take you out 10% under that if you set it. It's called a drawdown feature. And it's per chart or for the entire account. What if you wanted to keep your account at a certain level? It'll warn you. It'll let you know that, hey, you're getting close to your, you know, your max goal. Do you really want to keep trading on here? Well, here was a little trade. See how that just hit support right there? We missed that one, but I just saw it bounce, so I just decided just to go ahead and click it. I could put my stop just right under here, exit on close, and this will even show you if you're green on your trade or flat or red. See, right now it's green. You're up about 20 bucks on that particular trade, 10, 10 right now. See how it shows flat now, now green? That's the way this, this works. See, flat again, now green. That's telling you that you're not going red. And that's one of the best ways to take any trade is not going red. And we built the tools that will help you do all of this. Okay? Now, we want to invite you to take a trial with us we're going to let you have access to everything you see here. It'll only trade in SIM on Object Trader. It does not trade your, trade your live account. Our scripts will for members, but we'll actually give you exactly what you're seeing right here with Object Trader, with all of the indicators, everything that we got here, and we even have a template so that you don't have to worry about building this chart. You just simply drag your template into your doc folder, into Documents, Ninja Trader 7, forward slash templates, forward slash chart. And if you have any trouble with that, just contact us and we'll put it in for you. Anybody have any questions on this?
here, here at Viper Trading Systems, what we endeavor to do is teach people to, to basically see the trades in real time and be able to learn to train your eye to see these retracements. Don't go chasing trades all over the chart. You know, you might have walked into a room and said, you know what, this thing's going crazy. This thing's going crazy. I'm going to buy it right here. Well, guess what? If you did, it went all the way back down to here, and you'd probably get stopped out. And by the way, with gold, that's about uh, $200 a contract, isn't it? About 20 ticks. So, you know, try to get in that habit of, you know, getting the, the retracement. And the way our charts look, you're going to be able to do just that. All right. Let's see. I don't see questions coming in. Any anybody have any on that? And just to let anybody know, well, again, just real quick. Gary, just real quick. Uh, while we're looking for questions, <clears throat> for those that you came in late and missed the disclaimer, everything we're showing here today is in simulated mode. So, like any cut. Right. Right. And I, and I mentioned that that hypothetically. Um, now, as far as that goes, we open our, our room in the morning at 7.55, okay? And this little uh, trade setup showed up on our chart in the room and everything, and we, we actually give the signals for people in our live room, okay? And let's see, could I please see an NQ chart? How about if I show you that in uh, Ninja 8, okay? Because it's a little quicker to load. Let me just load a quick... Uh, NQ chart for you. Just one second. We'll load our template. And here's an NQ 12. Let's see here. It's loading up now as we speak. And almost done. Almost done. Now, Ninja's got a lot of bars and everything, so this is still loading. There you go. You're totally loaded up, and let's see here. We'll get over here to where they are. And see, you can clearly see, like Charles was teaching earlier, and we're going to teach you to see these in real time, okay? Bear with me just a second. That chart's still loading. There we go. Let it go ahead and finish loading. See these trades he was talking about earlier? Like here at, at mid-band, perfect rollover trade. Another one above mid-band, you box these in, you draw your trend lines. You know, they, they can just be uh, very, very good trades. Let's see, do we have to pay for this? No. Uh, Vicki, on your question, while we're offering this webinar today, you know, you can basically have a free trial with us. You get a free indicator with us. And uh, during your trial, you get invited to our trading room that's open five days a week from 7.55 until 10 a.m. Central Time. And you'll be able to, you know, basically just kick the tires and see what you think. Okay? Now, oh, okay. Yeah, and, and as far as that goes, no. There, there's You don't have to pay for the trading room either, no. Uh, during your trial, you, you can come in. Now, we do have a membership, obviously, because we have, you know, members all over the world as far as that goes. And they do pay us for the scripts because they do trade live. Okay, so, so you can be a member also once you take your trial. We're not trying to get you to do anything except just see what we have to offer and take a trial with us. Kick the tires with us. Come to our webinar. You're even invited to, to tonight's webinar if you'd like. We'll put the link up. And then I have a webinar on Saturday, and you're welcome to that also. All right, members, basically members, Vicki, are the ones that actually join us and they actually use our live scripts. Okay, those will be traders that obviously trade even their their own accounts. And object trader that you just saw, this is actually the the version that our members get. But on a trial version, you can't actually trade anything live at all. It only works in sim. So there's there is a fee to be a member, but We'll offer you a special deal and everything like that, you know, to come in with us. You know, just don't worry about that yet, though, because you can take a trial with us for absolutely free. Okay, any other questions? We're getting close to the end. I could flip back to you, Charles, if you'd like. 
just wanted to mainly take those few minutes and show you know a great tool and how you can actually utilize that tool and we've designed it totally to work like I said on the fly anything you need to do you can change and before you even get ever get into a trade you can also uh, even scale in or scale out or do anything you want all right and we've got the training behind that I'll go ahead and uh, uh, take uh, back to the slide Charles and I'll go ahead and let you take let's over let's put the free trial slide back up if you could there Gary all right just one second go ahead and go with that uh, slide just one second here and everybody what you'll basically be do, doing is going to vipertradingsystems.com forward slash home dash two okay and that will get you to this uh, little trial link and everything that we were offering all right and then you just simply put in your name and your email let's see can I use Jason not at this time we're, we're actually in the process of getting Ninja Trader 8 totally completed and it's kind of stair-stepping so to speak so we haven't released it except to members just yet we just got our Ranko bars finished the other day and our members don't even have that yet we have some special Ranko bars that I think you really like too and that that all comes as part of our package all right so Charles I'll go ahead and uh, all right, I'm going to go ahead and put the link to the uh, webinar tonight in the uh, box here. Hopefully this will come through. Here it is. All right. So it's 5 o'clock Pacific. Everybody's invited. And we're going to show details on how these uh, trades that we showed today set up, where to take them, how the system works. It'll really be helpful and a good kickoff for a free trial because you'll get firsthand um you know information about uh, uh, you know how to interpret the signals on what you see on the indicators so everybody click on that link you can come tonight starts in a couple hours uh, and then you'll get your uh, your free trial uh, software as well as the links for uh, the live room and next week well I think that if you're done Gary that was good I think uh, we got a wrap Jared I think I think we're uh, running out of time a little bit here too huh good to go yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do my closing, uh, unless you guys have anything else you want to add. That's it for me. I think we're done. All right, great. So, so we just want to give a special thank you to Charles Boyle and Gary Donahue of Viper Trading Systems for their great presentation today. Just as a reminder, everyone in attendance today will uh, receive an on-demand recording of today's event, so do me a favor, keep an eye out for that email. Uh, just some closing uh, information. Ninja Ecosystem is pleased to sponsor these weekly vendor events as a value-added service for our clients. If you find value in these events, we hope that you attend them on a regular basis. We also want to remind you that uh, the information provided today was that of Ninja Trader and excuse me, of, of Viper Trading System and not of Ninja Traders. All information was for educational purposes and should not be construed as trading advice. Again, we appreciate the time you spent with us today. Please enjoy the rest of your day. We hope to see you again in future webinars. Happy trading from all of us here at Nintendo Ecosystem.